chip cards. They take forever. On the bright side, they're also more secure. They're supposed to stop criminals from stealing our information. But the very thing that makes them take longer may also make them vulnerable. On an old-fashioned credit card, the data that's sent to the register is static. It never changes. On a chip card, the data is randomized, which means it's only good for one transaction. Normally, information that expires after just a minute would be useless. But if hackers could steal it and use it all before it switches again, they're in business. And new research shows that might actually be possible if hackers can crack open a store register and add something called a skimmer. Maybe they're friends with the cashier, maybe they own the store themselves. Whatever the case, the hackers wait for you to insert your card and then their minute begins. Here's how it works. During that minute, the hacked register is stealing all of your card's information and wirelessly transmitting it to another device the hackers have set up elsewhere, like a smartphone ready to make a mobile purchase, or in this case, a hacked ATM that's confusing the data for your physical banking card. And... First of all, Wow, <laughs> what did we just see? Can you explain what just went down? The data on the card is getting transmitted to a device that's inside this uh, false front here. Uh, and then that, it then in turn, is starting to punch in all the data, punching in the pin, asking for $200 and hitting withdrawal. There's little, uh, basically robot hands that are actually you know, putting the pin numbers in there. Uh, you had to take over almost two devices to make this happen, right? So how likely is this to, to be widespread? What we're trying to do now is kind of envision the kinds of attacks that we feel are, are going to be likely to happen once the U.S. moves over more completely to the chip and pin standard. It's not like the criminals are going to like throw up their hands and say, oh, you took away my mag stripes, I'm out of the you know, credit card fraud business. So I would expect to see some variation of this, uh, maybe in two years hence. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're not going to see this today. You have the skill that enables you to hack an ATM and make money just kind of flow out. Um, yet you want to use this skill for good. A lot of people would want to take the money and run. So what is it uh, about you that makes you want to use this power for good? Um, I like being ethical. I like you know, like being able to go out in society and you know, not be scared that every knock on the door is you know, I'm gonna be the police, and yeah. just in general. So. I love the internet, and I am a big technophile, and I want that stuff to keep working. And the only way that's gonna keep working is the good guys, like, are working at least at pace with the bad guys.